So what are you taking away from the CS conference? The governor of Cardinesi uh, tasked the CITM president, Dame Simplis, with four major questions. Most important one was, we're an agricultural-based country and we're not taxing agriculture. So he wants us to you know, find out how do we tax agriculture at the gate, not when it's in, out in the market. There's a lot, of, a lot of money being lost there. Now, it's not something for people to be afraid of. It doesn't mean you're going to pay a lot more. It just may want to broaden the tax base. Yeah. The second um, concern he had was this e-commerce. They're benefiting so much from us, but because of the residence rule, we're unable to tax them. We saw that um, Twitter, just to get closer to Nigeria, moved to Ghana because we've, we've put ourselves out there in a negative light due to you know, our protests and all these insecurities. So they're business people. They don't want to take a risk and lose money. Nobody's in business. So we have to let our citizens, we have to join hands and make the country safe. Investors will surely come. You know, Nigerians are doing great everywhere around the world. As bad as people want to think we are or paint us, we're still the top in most um, industries. So there's no reason why we should not be the ones setting the pace for everybody else around the world. And the last but not the least was how to track taxpayers. He mentioned that it's something we need to look into. I know FRS has been in this since 2010. It's a continuous effort with the Joint Tax Board and we'll continue to grow and get better. Nothing is second cent in life. We're all learning by the day. The most important thing is we have um, leaders that are willing to listen and are willing and driven to commit themselves to bring solutions to Nigerians. What do you think can be done to see that the digital economy is really being taxed to generate more taxes from there? Oh, thank you for that question. Um, we're actually already doing it in the FRA. We started um, working on taxing e-commerce. It's a major part. The challenge is the um, residency rules that we have in our tax laws. And thank God for our finance acts. It's given us the platform to be able to quickly move with the world. I'm very proud of Nigeria in that sense because we're, we're being proactive. We're trying to get to the problem before it even starts. And that, to me, is a major, major milestone. So what we need to do now is sit down and do number crushing, data crushing. Where are we spending money? Upon doing my research, I found out that during Corona, Nigeria actually shut down Netflix. Their server went down because of all of us that were on it, using it. It's, it's, it's quite unfair to Nigeria that the likes of Netflix are not coming to the table to say, hey, you know, we recognize you as a global leader and we also want to improve your economy because your economy is supporting our business. So that's what we need to get to. We need to hit, get to their humanitarian side. Yes, we know we have laws, but if you want to continue with us, let us partner together. If not, maybe we'll consider something where what China did where, for example, with TikTok, you know, America's like, they're not gonna adopt TikTok because the China-based product. So one of the major companies was tasked to create a similar platform for Americans. So when that happened, China had to come to the table and negotiate. So we have two options. One is for the private entities, the e-commerce giants, to come and collaborate with us in order to grow our economy and be able to get services or render services to our people and we benefit from it to grow the people or we grow ourselves and we create a platform for ourselves where our citizens will be using and then we'll be able to tax appropriately. Again, that all goes to the powers that be. We can only make suggestions and I know the powers that be know exactly what they're doing. But everything takes time and you know, it's, it's, it's like pregnancy, it takes nine months. So we can't do magic in a day or in a month. It's a lot of work. We'll try to um, sensitize everybody on what taxation is. So that in itself is a lot of work. Then we have to sensitize them to believe and, you know, wanted to pay tax. And then we have to show them what we're using the tax monies for. I think when we're able to do all of this, taxation in Nigeria will become the it code.